I just got back from seeing John Wick Chapter 4. I really liked it. It is a little too long. Let's talk about it just a little bit. This is going to be a quick video. I am kind of exhausted after this one. Just a long day, but that's okay. Uh, always happy to see uh, something like this and something so entertaining because that is the biggest strength of this movie. Um, Chad still less, ch uh, excuse me, Chad still Helsky. If he keeps making these movies, I'm going to keep seeing them. That's just kind of how it is. Like, it's just as simple as that. They're so entertaining. Um, they are just, it, the pacing is just breakneck. I feel like there's barely a lull in the action until maybe about 30 minutes left in the movie. And, um, I love everything about the, how stylized it is. It's just, it's great. They continue to innovate on their action from the previous John Wick movies. And I just feel like each one is almost kind of getting better than the last to a degree. Uh, more so that the first one is a little more sentimental. Two, three, and four are just mostly about the action. Though there is, like, just a uh, tense of uh, story there as well. Um, I do think that you could cut about, about 20 minutes or so, maybe 25 minutes off this movie. It's long. Yeah, two hours, 47 minutes. That's a long time, especially for an action movie. But, you know... If that's how much you could trim, and I am cutting corners here for a few things, that's still pretty good. Most of this is action. Um, it is utilizing Keanu Reeves well and just like having him spout out one-liners. It is developing Donnie Yen's character and showing him uh, the chemistry that he has with Keanu Reeves. It's having your little bit players like uh, Ian McShane, La uh, Lawrence Fishburne, Lance Reddick, and this villain, Bill Skarsgård, really having their scenes and kind of like upping the stakes to their little degrees as well. Yeah, I just ended up really liking this. I thought that the, the blocking was just superb. Um, everything that's tracked is awesome. There is a very particular scene involving a roundabout in France that is just bonkers. Um, it, there's so much going on. You do have to suspend disbelief a little bit here and there, but we're also watching a John Wick movie at this point. Um, uh, I will talk mildly about spoilers near the end of the video. I will let you guys distinctly know when that is. Um, uh, but otherwise, yeah, I just, I really liked it. Um, quite fun, just a little bit too long. Those are kind of my basic thoughts. Um, if you are interested in any more, I will publish a longer. I'll publish two reviews on Letterboxd, one that is spoiler-free and one that is big spoilers. Um, uh, and another thing I liked about this movie, quite funny. Like, just you, with your stylized action, you're going to have some ridiculous moments. Uh, there's one that involves... <laughs> I to came and say... Uh, it, it, it's near the beginning of the movie. Um, uh, it's at a different hotel. And uh, it involves an arrow and a knee. And you just go wild with that thought. Um, especially if you like the Elder Scrolls series. But anyway, I'll talk more about spoilers in a minute. Yeah, I would say about 8 out of 10, maybe 8.5. Since you're on Letterboxd, you can't really do those ratings. I am, I'm tied. I just really enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know where I would rank it right now, but it's one of the better ones for sure. Um, uh, so... Yeah, maybe maybe the the second best. If the third, or, I don't know if the third or the second are my favorite. But uh, yeah, great series keeps evolving. I love that. Uh, so yeah, those are my main thoughts. Let's talk a little bit about spoilers. Oh, and so just some other things really quick. Um, uh, if you are curious, um, or you are doubting my validity, um, I have just a few things, a few little knickknacks from the show. This is a little doggy water bowl. Um, uh, one of the foldouts. And there is indeed a dog in the movie. They play a decent role, as well as the handler. As well, the handler is a character called Nobody. Um, this is the pin that Bill Skarsgård wears. It's um, a kind of signal light, or just kind of um, shows what his tie to the plot is. Um, it's kind of like his organization. I'll give you kind of the, uh, the abridged version of the plot. More or less, it continues at the end of John Wick 3. And um, he is, um, so he's excommunicado. And now the hotels are starting to be investigated. And um, it starts with Ian McShane's hotel. I am, like, blanking on his character name, unfortunately. Um, but the main hotel. And then it goes to another hotel. So because of their involvement with John Wick. That is all that I'm going to say about the plot. Bill Skarsgård's character plays the Marquis, who is the main guy who is hunting, um, trying to hunt him down and recruit other people, so on and so forth. Um, spoilers. 
So let's let's really talk more spoilers. Um, things to look out for. Um, there's a set of stairs near the end of the movie that you really feel. You feel that entire giant set of stairs. It is your end of the or light at the end of the tunnel moment. That is a big moment. It was great. Um, uh, there are there is a moment involving dragon breath um, ammunition, which is awesome, and a top down camera view in the a la uh, like Hotline Miami, the video game. That was fantastic. Um, there's just so many great moments in this. All the set pieces are great. Um, that roundabout chase that I was talking about, I'm still kind of thinking and ringing from that. Um, it's an incredibly loud movie, and it's also a funny movie. Like, the, the humor's great. Um, uh, there's a great line where Donnie Yen <laughs> tells someone to fuck off. Go ahead, YouTube. Take that demonetization. This should be great for people trying to uh, review and talk about movies. Anyway, so yeah, there's just there's some great stuff in there. Um, yeah, and there is... I don't want to say how it ends or even hint necessarily how it ends, but obviously there's much more to it as there is in every John Wick. So yeah, these are just my thoughts on it. I really liked it. Um, go see it if you can. And if you're interested, if you like this series, you will continue to like it. It's just keeps upping the action from the previous ones and uh, it does it just in some very unique ways. And that's all that I want from this series. Just continue to be entertaining, ridiculous, over the top. It knows exactly what it is and it owns it. So that's what exactly what it should be. Thank you for listening to me babble. Um, if you are more interested, I might uh, post more of these types of reviews. I watch at least one movie a day, if not more, and it is my passion. So I'll bug you guys later. Thank you. Bye.